Our next major injury is CMC Christian McCaffrey with a high ankle sprain expected to be out anywhere from four to six weeks. Mike Davis handled all of the time in his absence. Who's rostered in less than 1% of leagues. It is worth stating that um, Curtis Samuel did get a rushing attempt afterwards. Maybe that would become more of a thing. Um, Their head coach, Matt rule said that they will come up with a plan to use um, both Mike Davis and Reggie Bonathan to uh, make up for CMC's, uh, I don't know, time away from the team. I'm not, if I'm picking a guy, I think Mike Davis would probably have to be like, if he can get, like, if he is, if he can get that three down roll, the guy can catch passes. Yep. He might be one of the top guys for me at the running back position in terms of who I would actually try and spend money on, but I would only really spend money on him if I have CMC or if I have Saquon, I, I like Mike Davis more than Devonta Wayne Gallman or uh, Deion Lewis. I totally agree with you. Uh, me being a McCaffrey owner in one league, he basically seems like he's going to replace, I don't know, at least 60% of production you'd get just because of all the passes that he caught at the end there. Mm-hmm. I mean, if if you were a CMC owner and you saw him when he went out in the fourth quarter uh, after scoring that touchdown and all of a sudden uh, Mike Davis has eight catches for 74 yards, basically all in the fourth quarter. Um, I th- that has to pique your interest at least moderately. Um, and it seems like Teddy Bridgewater was really airing it out at the end of that game. I, n- I know they were behind, um, but he, I, 33 of 42. So if anything, it might perk his value up a little bit because they'll just go exclu- almost exclusively to the pass. Yeah. Um, cause they, it doesn't really seem like they have much of a running game going forward until CMC comes back. Uh, so I, I would expect them to continue to throw the ball more, um, increasing those wide receiver value, increasing uh, Mike Davis value too. Um, I, from like a, how much do you spend? It's tough because you don't want to blow it on somebody that's only going to be around for three, four weeks. You said four to six weeks on the high. Four to spring, six. Right? I mean, you're talking if it's six weeks, that's half your season but just to get to the playoffs. You got to be yeah. blowing 40 percent, 50 percent fab. I think that's too much. If you're a CMC owner, if you're uh, the CMC I, owner, yeah, you get, maybe maybe you could justify that. It depends on what your backup situation looks like, um, or you know what the rest of your roster looks like. Again, I always prescribe to save it until week 11, 12, 13, um, but you got to get to the playoffs first. So if you're zero and two and you have CMC, uh, I think you're in a position where you have to spend more. If you're two and zero and you have CMC, I think you can hold back. If you're one and one, good luck. Um, I, I f- spending fifty percent is, I think, egregious. I, I think you'll get away with probably in the like twenty five to thirty percent range, just because people are thinking he's a rental too. So uh, he's more valuable to you as a CMC owner. So I guess to guarantee him, maybe you go forty percent. Um, My question to you is, um, what level running back? Is if you're trading one for one for CMC, what running back would you think is an acceptable trade for CMC? Right now, knowing he's going to be out for the next yes. four weeks? Month, month and a half. What do you think's fair? Um I I would be intrigued if somebody would do David Montgomery, I guess slightly after how he's looked the first two weeks. Uh, I don't I don't think I would do that, but he would he's if like you one owned, of the first that, if you if you rostered CMC, would you take that? No. Right. I don't think you could. Um man, I mean, you wouldn't take M- Mostert's hurt. <sighs> Josh Jacobs. I, he's playing right now as we're recording. He's not if doing I a was, of a If lot. I was the CMC owner and somebody wanted to give me Josh Jacobs, I would smash yes. Yeah. Okay. I mean, he's maybe one guy. I, you wouldn't do it for Joe Mixon, who's looked no. terrible. Um, It's hard because a lot of the RB2, like high-end RB2 guys sort of have had one good week, one bad week. Like Gurley's right. been kind of uninspiring. James Conner has been down, then up. Mostert was great, then got hurt. Monty's David the Johnson. only one that's been above and has been a little bit more consistent. Mm-hmm. 
Um, but yeah, I just thought that that was an interesting question. Um, yeah, I would. Do, do you have a barometer on that? I mean, you're saying yes to Josh, Josh Jacobs, but I don't know. I'd be looking for two guys. I'd be looking for a running back and a wide receiver just to try yeah. it because it's elite level production. 